Yes, and I knew Hugh well when I worked at the BBC. And when I worked on the Today programme, he was one of the kindest, most reliable, most inspirational colleagues that I've ever had the pleasure to work with. And I'm absolutely stunned by the news. Of course, I've been aware that this was the name in the frame for a long time, but the exact details are truly upsetting. Hugh Edwards has done a great deal for the BBC. He's done a great deal for broadcasting in this country. And to find him in this position is really quite shocking. And I feel very, very sorry for Hugh and for his family. Yeah, and the statement from his wife was preceded by this statement from the Metropolitan Police saying that there was no information at the moment that they have that warrants a criminal investigation, which no doubt will come as a huge relief to Hugh Edwards. But there is then the BBC investigation, and one wonders, you know, where the BBC go with this from here. Well, I think that the absence of evidence to justify criminal investigation is very significant because we, the facts in this case are yet to be known and we still have a great deal to find out before we can be quite clear about what has actually happened. But if there's been no criminality, then there have to be questions asked about what kind of pressure Hugh Edwards may have been put under by those with whom he'd been in contact. There have always been two sides to this story. We've seen one side, courtesy of The Sun, and I make no criticism of The Sun for its reporting, which has genuinely set the agenda. It's a very fine, popular newspaper, and it's been doing its job well. But we haven't heard Hugh Edwards' side of this story. Given Hugh Edwards is in hospital and his family want peace, I suspect we're going to wait some time to hear that. But hopefully the BBC will get to the bottom of this and will get to the bottom of it with rigour and with a degree of speed. That would be truly helpful. Yeah, but it may take time given um, his the condition of his mental health as described and as outlined in this statement by his wife. It may take time. I hope that it takes less time than it might. The simple truth is that there are people who can be questioned. There are processes which can be examined. There are individuals who can be challenged on this. And I hope that the BBC will go about that process diligently and fairly. Of course, there are accounts from both sides of the story. There may well be wrongdoing on Hugh's part. I think that that is something we have to bear very firmly in mind. But it's equally possible that there has been wrongdoing on other sides as well, and the possibility that people have been trying to take advantage of the fact that a person, the public eye, a very high-profile public figure, may have been in touch with him in his private life in a way which would be embarrassing for the public for him, for the public to know. I do not know that, but certainly I understand how vulnerable someone in Hugh Edwards' position can be in circumstances when they can be faced by uh, people making allegations, which in other cases might be regarded yeah. as trivial or indeed simply as threatening. And just finally, Tim, I mean, the Sun's position in all this, it was their original story, um, and I suppose they would argue that just because there is no criminal... Uh, you know, investigation by the police doesn't mean that they shouldn't have run the, the story. I guess that will be their argument. I would not criticise The Sun for running the story, not for a second. The Sun is a great popular newspaper. It was brought a story by parents who were making a serious complaint about a the behaviour of a BBC star, and The Sun has listened to that and I'm sure done the checks that it normally does, and it does those checks very well. It is a newspaper with a great deal of editorial experience. This is a tragic story, but that doesn't mean it make it wrong for The Sun to publish it. Journalism is about truth. It's not about sympathy, sadly.